Hi, I'm Zach. Today I'll show you how to turn phone product photos into professional studio quality images using AI. We'll use ChatGPT and Photoshop for e-commerce, social media, and online stores. This is the exact workflow I use for clients. So let's get started. First of all, open Photoshop. After that, import the picture you've taken with your phone or camera. For this demo, I've used a sample picture from Shutterstock. Now, to remove the background, you can use the object selection tool, pen, or lasso tool to select your subject. Keep in mind, sometimes it won't be perfect, so you'll need to refine it manually. The more time you spend, the more accurate and professional the result will look. I'm keeping it simple here just to show you the process. Sometimes extra areas are included, so you can simply mask out the unwanted parts. Once done, the main product will be isolated. Another way is to crop the product, export it, and upload it to remove.bg. It will automatically remove the background. For a higher resolution download, you may have to buy their subscription, but for now, we will use the free version. If you already have a product image with a transparent background, you can directly use that. We need our product image to create a product composition with objects, which we will use later in AI tools to generate visuals. Next, let's start building a composition. Suppose we want to place this product on a table. Create a new layer by pressing Ctrl-Shift-N. Fill the background with color. This will act as a table. When we start building a composition in Photoshop, we don't need to make everything perfect right away. Instead, we roughly block out shapes that represent different elements. For example, a circle can represent a peach or any other fruit, and we can draw a rough slice next to it. A rectangle might stand for a table surface or packaging. Simple brush strokes can represent stems, leaves, or shadows. By creating these rough shapes first, we're basically sketching out a blueprint of the final design. Once the layout is done, we use the text tool in Photoshop to label each part of the composition. For example, we add text to show which area is the product, which layer is the table, and which part is the background. This makes it much easier to explain the design later, whether to ChatGPT for guidance or to anyone else who wants to understand the setup. Now, we're going to export this layout and upload it to ChatGPT. This is where the real AI magic starts. Let me explain in simple terms what's happening here. We're giving ChatGPT clear instructions on how we want our design to look. For example, let's say, convert this layout into a professional product photo shoot. Don't change the main product, just enhance the lighting. The rest of the composition is already explained in the uploaded image. The background should be bright with a natural theme, a soft glow or sun rays behind the product, and a wooden table as the base. Here, I'm simply describing what I already built in Photoshop, and then asking ChatGPT to make it look more professional. Once the prompt is written, I just press Enter, and wait for it to generate the final result. Here, our final result is ready. But you can notice one thing. The AI generated it in a vertical format. Now, if we want this in landscape, for example, 1920 by 1080 pixels, we type that format into the prompt, press enter, and it will generate the new version for us. Now, let's look at another issue. The left and right sides of the image are not balanced. The product is not centered exactly. To fix this, we take it into Photoshop. After importing, double-click the layer and use the crop tool to extend the canvas slightly from all four sides. We don't need to add anything extra here. We just extend and let AI fill the empty space. Once generated, we'll get three options, and we can simply choose the one that fits best. Now, since this isn't a smart object, it won't update by itself. So I'll select both layers, the original and the extended one, right-click, convert them into a smart object, then copy it with Control and Command C. After that, I'll paste it back on my main artboard with Control and Command V and adjust it to the center. This way, we end up with the exact composition we wanted, polished and properly centered. 
Sometimes when we generate product shots with AI, the product itself changes a little. If that happens, don't worry. Just replace it with your real product while keeping the existing AI shadows for a natural look. Place your product exactly where the AI one was so the shadows stay aligned. Next, duplicate the layer with Control J or Command J. Then go to Image, Adjustments, Curves. On the top layer, darken the shadows and add a mask. On the bottom layer, brighten the highlights, no mask needed. Now use a black to white gradient on the mask to blend both layers smoothly. For fine tuning, grab a soft brush on the mask to adjust specific shadow areas. And that's it. One dark layer, one bright layer, blended with the original shadows intact. Your product shot now looks clean, realistic, and studio ready. That's it. Phone photos to studio quality shots with AI and Photoshop. If this helped, hit like and subscribe for more AI product photography hacks. See you in the next one.